Okay, sir, moving on to a more personal level. You've announced that you're going to gift away 99% of your wealth. Is your family happy with that decision? How have they reacted? Well, I really don't know. They haven't talked to me for quite a while. Have they? <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, now my family are going to be in the upper quarter of 1% or something like that of humanity in terms of the, of the funds they have at their disposal. Uh, my goal originally was to leave my children enough so they could do anything, but not enough so they could do nothing. And uh, I've gotten a little, a little uh, more frivolous as time has passed, so they're even getting a little more than that. Uh, but they feel themselves very lucky. I mean, not only do they, they get some money, uh, which takes care of a lot of their needs in life, but they've had the advantage of being in a home where uh, that uh, uh, where they uh, they we talked about interesting things. They met interesting people that would not have necessarily been the case if they'd been born in some other situation. So they've had a lot of advantages in life beyond simply the money. Um, they. All three of them, they're in their 50s now, and they might not have agreed with the decision when they were 18 or 20, but uh, they all three feel very good about the, the, the hand that life has dealt them. One of the things I do, that, uh, uh, I make a will, we'll say, every six or seven years. Uh, and when I make that will, uh, they read it before I sign it, and we talk over uh, things either that they don't understand or maybe that they think is are wrong you know, but, uh, uh, and I, don't, I do not sign that new will until they are satisfied that they know exactly what is happening and why they're the executors under it so I want them to understand uh, the terms of it and uh, uh, they all three of them consider themselves very lucky. The wealth I'm giving away would have Virtually no utility to them, has no utility to me, has all kinds of utility to other people. So it's, just, it's a rational decision, and it's a decision that all my children uh, agree with. Which actually brings me to my next question, which is that uh, you spend all your life earning a lot of money, and then you suddenly choose to give it away. It's exceptionally noble. But then what keeps you going? I mean, uh, is it fair to say it's not the money it's per se? Cherry Coke. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they call product placement. <laughs> is it fair to say it's not the money, no. but the thrill, uh, the process of making that money that keeps you going? It, it's, more, it's painting a painting. It, it, Berkshire Hathaway is a painting I got to start back in 1965. It was a blank canvas, pretty much. It was a textile business, and we ripped that part off the canvas because it wasn't. It was destined for for problems. But I've gotten I've gotten to create my own company. That's a lot of fun. I mean, you know, other people cr use creative uses in other ways. There's all kinds of ways to do it. You know, journalists have their. That's a that's a fun profession in my mind. I mean, I would I would if I wasn't doing what I would do, I would be. I would probably be a journalist because I think there's nothing more interesting than probing into a subject and learning more about it and, and then trying to put your thoughts down in paper when you really find out whether you, you know whether you understand something. Uh, so it's, I'm getting to do a job I absolutely love. I tell students when they come, and I have a lot of students come to Omaha, I tell them, take the job that you would take if you were independently rich. You know, you're probably going to be, it's probably going to work better for you monetarily than anything else because you'll have that passion. But you want to jump out of bed in the morning, not because you're going to get a paycheck, but because you're going to get to do what you love. And I am fortunate enough, I was fortunate enough to find something I love very early. That's just plain luck. I mean, it, it, you know, some people, it, it's going to take longer than others to really find what turns them on. But I get to do what I, what I love, and I'm, it, what's really fortunate about it is that that age doesn't make a lot of difference, or at least that's what I'm going to keep telling everybody. Uh, the, uh, you know, and I don't need hand-eye coordination. You know, I don't need any muscles. Or I, uh, I can be practically a wreck and keep doing what I do. And and how many people are in that position? I mean, that is being very lucky. So that's what 
I do every day what I would do if I didn't need the money because I don't need the money. And, and, and I could do almost anything in the world that doesn't require any kind of talent or physical ability or anything of the sort. I could be a sailing around on a boat, you know, and I, or I could, uh, there's just a million things I could do. But this is, what I'm doing is what I love doing. And, and it, it, I can't say it gets better all the time because it's, it's just been terrific, but it, it certainly doesn't diminish over time. I'm, I'm having as much fun now doing what I do as I did 60 years ago, and I was having a lot of fun then.